Hey guys, RJ here, and this is Rose Premier League number 27. I haven't watched this episode for like ages, for like ages, because I've been so busy finishing the season, and what a season it has been. I'd really persuade you guys to really go on to watch the extra episodes in this season, in this um, specific series. It's going brilliantly. I just want to thank everyone for the support so far. Everyone who said, like, I really enjoy your videos. Um, videos, um, yeah, or I uh, like watching them or anything, um, I really do appreciate it. I know there isn't a great number of you, but I do appreciate it, nevertheless. Um, also, I'd like to just bring this up now while this video is kind of starting, that if for some reason you feel that you're missing out on videos, because I do upload daily and I do appreciate that people might be like, oh, I don't come on YouTube daily, I'm missing videos, then by all means, if you want to, follow me on Twitter. It's not unnecessary, I don't usually tweet much to be honest but every video that i put on does go onto there um and if you do want to go on there then that is a very useful way of getting information about my videos and stuff like that and about what i'm doing usually if it concerns um what's going on so for example the other day i didn't upload because i put my montage out for my one year on youtube which if you're into card i would recommend also looking at two so, um, but yeah, it's up to you guys, and if you have any questions, by all means, drop them in the comments, or inbox me on YouTube. But yeah, after promoting my videos, let's go back to the game. We lost against Norwich, and then we draw. Norwich was a League Cup game. I wasn't too bothered, because they're a Premiership side, we're a League One side. Even though we are pushing for promotion this season, um, I still felt that it was going to be a really tough challenge to actually pick up the win there. But nevertheless, we only conceded one, and it was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So that happened, then we kind of faltered a bit and dropped points. And then we come up against Sheffield Wednesday. Now, this game was the Johnson's Pack Trophy semi-final league. No, semi final Johnson's Pike Trophy, semi final, leg one. Yeah, right. So it was um quite bad to start with. They conceded um no, they conceded ah, ah, ah. they scored a goal um uh, after I conceded a penalty. I personally thought they had two penalty shouts in that attack, but nevertheless I think it was a justified penalty. I didn't purposely mean to give it away, but nevertheless I did. And they went up. But Gakpo converted from them free kicks, which I've got to admit I am loving at the moment. They seem to be the easiest way to score with these bronze players. And it got us the draw. So we played that game on the 20th of January and we drawed 1 1. I'm showing you this, guys, because I'm now going to show you the difference between here and the next game. So the next game is on February the 11th. But between them and then, we have two interesting league games. One against Brentford, one against Notts County. Both teams I have struggled to beat before because they are really good teams. I kind of nicked Western from um, Brentford and I'm trying to nick Pierce from Notts County. But at the moment it seems very unsuccessful as they won't let him leave. But um, nevertheless, there was interesting games. Especially since they nicked Morgan off me. And he seems to score every single time we play each other. And it's like, Ugh! and it makes me feel like, why did you let him go? But if you didn't know, guys, when I had Morgan, the striker, he only scored four goals in about four goals. If my voice is messing up, I have suffering from man flu. I am sorry. But he only scored four goals in like at 17 games after I completely bigged him up saying he's amazing and his return to be simply quality. So I let him go, and then, yeah, he scores against me. But anyway, back to the current game, instead of waffling on about random players. Um, we come up against Brentford, like I said. Taylor really shone through in this game, as he does, as always. He seems to be one of them players that's just like, when he wants to score, he will score. And he does score indeed there. Bit of a cheeky chip through from Messina, I believe it was, to put through to Taylor's head. And he doesn't usually score goals like that, but... Goals like this, he does score. Running in, past the defender, using his pace. And he actually slots that one quite nicely away on the half volley. If you want to go back and watch that, guys, then by all means, do. But nevertheless, freeze third, he gets saved. He drops to Bradshaw, who converts. And this guy has also been having a really good season. And I'm really enjoying playing with not only Taylor, but him and Konechi and Wynn and Goldson and everybody. So, yeah. But talking about defenders, Gradison here gives away a penalty. It was a good penalty, I guess, shout. Well, a good penalty shout. And sticking with that, it was a good penalty too. I really felt my keeper could have done something there. And I was like, what? What? 
But nevertheless, their keeper plays a key part in their second goal, funnily enough, because my defenders just couldn't seem to mark him, let alone anybody else, and we end up conceding there to drop our goal difference to that game by one instead of possibly three. So, we went to the next game with Notts County, hoping that it wouldn't start the same way. And it did start the same way in the sense that Wynn scored quite early, such as Taylor scored quite early within the first half. But in this game, instead of it being late when they scored, they scored just after half-time when Morgan started in, as usual, to keep up his record of scoring against the club. I was like, oh, no. So straight from the kickoff, I really tried to push forward. And Galton there completely muscles their player out of the way. I don't know how he got away with doing that, but he did. And some bad defending by their players. And Wing is in for his second. Now this looked like it was going to be a Taylor instant where Wing could go on and possibly push for his hat-trick and then not get it. And that's exactly what it was because he did not score a third. But instead Kanechi did. And he put our third to make this a 2-0 goal difference game. Now you're probably thinking why you're going on a bit goal difference. But it is quite important. It is quite key to the um, season. As you know with the current Premier League season. Then it is a lot important. A lot important? My grammar is terrible. But yeah, we come up against Sheffield Wednesday, who are a good team, as we found out on the first leg. And again, we wanted to push our dominance over against them. And it didn't really go the way I planned. First half, nil nil. We was winning on aggregate. Second half, nil-nil, we was winning our cricket. It was one of them games where nothing happened, surprisingly, and we ended up just not doing anything. But nevertheless, we are through to the final with Barnsley. Make sure to tune in, guys, for that final. Thanks for watching, as always. RJ out.